everyone. So today I'm doing the next look in the Famous Cities from Around the World series that I'm doing. I've already done a few and I wanted to do the next one that is inspired by Cairo. But Cairo is very famous obviously for its tourism to the pyramids and you know to the you know all this um, archaeological sites. So I wanted to do a look that's inspired by sort of those golden desert colors and um, this is what I came up with. It's kind of an Arabic look. Well, it is an Arabic look. And I just used like some gold on the inner corner and then like this brown kind of to represent like desert sands or something like that or like, you know, the the pyramids or something in that direction. And yeah, I think it looks really dramatic and very, you know, exotic. Yeah, I hope you enjoy watching and if you want to see how to do this step by step, then just stay tuned. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a black pencil. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This came with the Urban Decay palette. To be honest, I'm not crazy about these pencils. I would not buy them separately. But um, I'm going to use this just because I have it and just because I want to use it up. So first what, I'm going to do this kind of wing. Um, but if you're a beginner, you can use the tape method where you just apply a piece of tape like here this way because that's gonna give you like a sharp edge but I'm gonna try it this time without the tape because it just gives a little bit of a smoother edge right there so basically what I do is I just apply a little bit of liner and now when you when you get this you have to just kind of look in a mirror a bit further away and you just kind of want to see the angle And then I'm going to use like a really small brush. This is one by Hakoda, but just like a really small, stiff, precise brush. And just going to put a little bit more black here. And then I'm going to push this up from the line in. So you don't want to go down below this line. This is kind of like your guide and you just want to smudge the black pencil a little bit so next up you want to take a brown shadow, I'm going to use this one, this is by MAC and this is called Handwritten you can use another one obviously, this is just what I have and I'm going to just use a flat shader brush. This is the MAC 239. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat this. Okay, you totally can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to pat this over the black pencil. And you want to be careful of that line. You don't want to go below that line. So what I do is kind of like this. And lift up. Okay. You can kind of see what I'm doing there. You want to do this crease work and I'm taking it in like pretty far. I'm going to just take a gold eyeshadow. This is one by Ben Nye and it's called Aztec Gold. Just any like very pigmented gold color. And I'm going to take that and just place that on that very inner part just blend it in and then on top of that because I want a little bit of shimmer I'm going to use this loose color by Obsessive, Compul Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and this is in the shade Auric and I'm going to press that on top as you can see it kind of has like a really nice kind of sparkle to it all the colors so far that I've used are like really matte and I want just a little bit of shimmer or something right there. Now as a highlight I'm going to use um, a shimmery color. This is Solar White. This was limited edition um, but just something that has a little bit of shimmer in, in it. This one kind of has like a golden shimmer which is nice. Um, you could use like MAC Vanilla Pigment that could kind of work as this as well. And I'm just gonna apply that right there. 
is I want to soften because here it's like really soft and here it's kind of harsh. So I'm going to actually take Smack soft brown eyeshadow just like a light brown and it's this color right here and I'm putting this basically in between the highlight and that deep brown crease color you see and that's kind of just softening that because I don't want that really like harsh line there then I'm gonna take a pencil brush this is the MAC 219 and um, a black matte eyeshadow this is matte carbon and just gonna darken up that lower line and kind of smoke it out a little bit okay now comes the tricky part of doing this very typical Arabic eyeliner and I'm going to use the MAC fluid line in black track just a black gel liner and I like to use an artist brush for this um, I got this at an art supply store So once your liner is done, you just want to make sure that you get a really nice like inner corner right there. That's what kind of makes it look very um, exotic. I'm just going to apply a black pencil to my waterline. So what I just did now is I finished up my eyebrows. I kind of darkened the color and I do have an in detail eyebrow tutorial. I'll link it below if you want to see how I do that. And then I just applied mascara on the top and bottom. Now my lashes are pretty long so I didn't really apply any false lashes I just don't think it's really necessary but if your lashes are like really short and sparse I would definitely apply false lashes to this now for the face I'm going to use first the MAC mineralized skin finish in champagne just like a nice highlighting product and I'm just gonna highlight kind of right underneath or sorry right on my cheekbones like the top of my cheekbones and that's just gonna give like a nice finish there um, this is the MAC 109 brush on my cheeks I want a little bit of a coral color so I'm going to use this MSF in Stereo Rose this was limited edition again if you don't have this just use like um, like a coral or just a natural tone blush I just want a little bit of color so I'm just using a little bit of coral For my lips, I'm going to use first um, a nude lip liner. This is by Rimmel. It's 18 Addiction. Alright, and then I'm going to use this lipstick by MAC. This is Myth. And I just want to put a little bit of lip gloss, so I'm going to use MAC Lip Gloss in Under Age. So that's the finished look. Um, I will just zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And yeah, the eyes are very, very dramatic, but I think they're really fun. You could even wear this like to an Arab wedding or something. I think this would be really appropriate. So let me know what you think of it. You can leave a comment below. Favorite to this video, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Really, really appreciate it. And um, I will warn you though, this isn't, this isn't the easiest makeup to do if you're a complete beginner. Um, you might have some problems doing it so that it looks like this, but um, I think it's worth it just to try it out. And it is a little bit time consuming as well, but I think it's definitely worth the effort. I think it's really cute and ooh, exotic and whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'll be doing more looks from cities inspired from around the world. So definitely subscribe and you can check back on the other playlist of the other videos I've done for this series. I'll link it at the end. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And thanks so, so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye everyone.
everybody. So today I'm doing the next look in my world series or world cities from around the world. <sighs> now let's see what I'm going to do for the face. Jesus. All right. <laughs> 